When you have a complex project, it's important to approach it one small piece at a time. We don't recommend that you jump straight into writing Mimi. It's easier to experiment if you create a temporary Xcode project that you don't plan on keeping. To learn to pick images, for example, you might want to create a one-button app that picks and displays a single image, the smallest possible project that will let you learn what you need to know. Baby steps to the meme generator. So here I've made a simple project to experiment with, and since the meme editor has a toolbar at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to go ahead and drag one of those in. And I'll position it and set its constraints. The toolbar comes with this button, but I'm going to go ahead and change its label to pick. And you see I've already got an image view, so you can go ahead and drag one of those in and set its constraints. Now I'm going to close this outline view for a minute and open up the assistant editor. And then we can add an outlet for our image view. Now let's go down to our button and we'll add an action for our button. Let's call it pick an image. And that ought to do it for storyboard. So we'll focus on our view controller file. I'm going to get rid of this extra method for now. And here in the pick an image method that we just added, we want to launch our UI image picker controller, just like we did in lesson two. So we add these two lines to present the image picker, and let's run it and see how it looks. And there we go. We can choose from our albums. So we're making progress, but when I choose a picture, I can't really tell that it's being chosen. We still need to implement the delegate pattern and set our view controller as the delegate of the image picker. Next up, we'll investigate the delegate protocol so we'll know what method will be called when the picker has an image chosen.